guys, so today I'm going to do a first impressions, chatty, get ready with me style video. Um, I've still got like a heap of stuff from iMats that I haven't tried yet. I've bit, I haven't tr actually tried anything, it's all still sitting in the bag. So I'm going to try those out on camera. Um, I don't have everything first impression because like I don't have a new concealer, stuff like that. But I'm going to just go with what I've got and film it. Um, if the lighting or the setup doesn't look very good, I do apologize, but I'm still trying to work out this new room and what the best way to film is. So at the moment, I've literally got like one of those little like tray tables in front of me with my mirror and just a few bits and pieces on it and the camera and the tripod sitting on my mom desk. Oh, that's not really even behind me, but... I don't think that really matters, does it? I don't know. I'm going to grab my primer because I forgot to get it. See, this is the annoying part. I have to get up and get things out of my drawer and bring it back like two feet. So to prime, I'm going to use Bare Minerals Prime Time in Neutralizing Shade and I'm just going to put this all over my face. So I do actually have a new foundation to test out. I have had this for a while now and I just haven't tried it. It's the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. I've got the shade 02 Natural, which is quite dark. Um, I've got fake tan developing at the moment, so it will get darker. So I'm just going to use this and see how it goes. I don't think I ever explained this to you guys, but remember my Artiste brush? This is what it looks like now. I was washing it. This was months ago I broke it. I was washing it. Um, no different to how I would normally wash my makeup brushes, like, I was, I'm pretty gentle with this because it is so expensive, and the thing just snapped. So I sent a photo to the place, um, where I bought it, well I sent a couple of photos actually, so that I could see, you know, whether they would reimburse me with another brush, because I'd only had it for about two months when it happened, but they wanted me to send the brush back. And I just didn't have time. I just could not have been bothered, so I never ended up doing it. But I've been using it like this. I mean, it's a pain, but it still applies at the same. So I am still using it. The foundation's quite, I don't know, it's kind of on the orangey side. I don't know. I'm not sure about the colour. I mean, I think it would be fine once my self-tanner develops, but it does blend really easily though, so it gets full marks for that. Finish is absolutely beautiful. It's just, yeah, I'm not too sure on the colour at the moment. And this is one of the lighter colours, so I mean, that's one downfall with drugstore foundations, I feel like, is you can have a shade 02 and have it be one of the lightest colours and it's still not very light at all. But I'm going to see if it oxidises and how it wears into my skin. I'm going to do my brows off camera because they take me absolutely forever. Might do an updated brow routine sometime in the future. If you guys want to see that, let me know down below. But I'm going to be right back with some eyebrows on. Okay, so my eyebrows are on and I have zoomed in a little bit so you guys can see the eyes being done. So I'm going to prime using my MAC Paint the Paint Pot. You guys know I love this so much. I realized I should have bought a backup at IMAX. So I just didn't even think of it while we were there. But yeah, I'm just going to apply that all over my lid with my finger. And the eyeshadow palette I'm going to use for majority of the eyeshadows is the Kathleen Lights and Morphe palette. This is what it looks like. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it so much. I've been using it pretty much every single day since I got it. Um, so the first colour I'm going to take is this matte bone colour. And I'm going to use this all over the lid to set that cream base down in place. This just helps any powder shadows uh, blend over the top seamlessly rather than trying to go in and blend over cream products. 
just makes it easier. Um, I'm going to take this shade here, which is like my perfect transition shade. It reminds me of Makeup Geek Creme Brulee for anyone who doesn't have this palette. Um, and I'm using my Sigma E40 blending brush, which is my all-time favorite blending brush. You guys need this in your life if you don't have it. I need to get myself like 10 of these because I love them so, so much. Literally makes blending the easiest job in the world. Like look at that. Seamless application and I barely had to do a thing. So I just go in little tiny circular motions all along the crease of my eye and also like windshield wiper motions back and forth. Okay, then I'm going to go in with this colour down here which is like a warm toned deeper brown. Reminds me of Makeup Geek Coco Bear. A lot of these matte shades are similar kind of colours to Makeup Geek which I'm not surprised because I, cause, cause I know because I know Kathleen loves Makeup Geek so it's not surprising she made similar shadows but my my thoughts on this palette is that I love it so much. I can do a whole video with swatches and stuff if you guys want. I'm not sure if you will want to see that but if you do just let me know. So I've just done the same thing with this darker colour except I've concentrated more into the outer corner and then gone through the crease. Then I'm just going to take this musty kind of shade, it's like a brown baby spew colour. I'm going to just take it on the same brush. That's the other thing I love about these brushes is that you literally can just use it over and over and over and over again. Like, excuse me. And it just doesn't matter. It still keeps working really well. So I'm just applying this pretty much above kind of where I put these two shades, right in the upper part of... I mean, I call this my crease even though it's not because I have hooded eyes. If I was to put it in the crease, like, you wouldn't even see it. So I call it my crease, although it's not technically my crease. I'm just going to take a clean, super fluffy blending brush. You can tell I haven't filmed for a while. And I'm just going to buff around those edges. And then I think I'm going to just pick up a little bit of this colour here. It's kind of like a purpley burgundy kind of shade. So I'm just going to pick some of that up on a MAC 217 brush. And I'm just going to apply this right in the outer corner. And bring it into the crease a little bit. Guys, I'm so excited that it's like less than a week away until December, which means Vlogmas and the best month of the year. So excited! Can't wait. I was going to use tan pigment on my eyes. I don't know. I just don't want to get a heap of fallout, which I feel like I'm going to. I think I will use it because it is just the most stunning pigment ever. Like. So, so pretty and this is going to last me a lifetime. I could be buried with it because I'll still have it when I'm dead. So I might grab some Fix Plus just so I can pick up a hefty amount on my brush, which I have to get up again to get. So I'm just going to grab a flat shader brush. This one's the Models Prefer Cream Eyeshadow Brush. Spray it with some Fix Plus and I'm also going to just hold a tissue underneath my eye so that I don't get a lot of fallout. That's like one of the most beautiful eyeshadow colours I've ever seen in my life. Oh, why did I not buy this sooner? I'm just going to take that 217 again and buff the edges. Just gently because I don't want to buff any of the color away really. I'm going to tight line and line my upper lash line with my Maybelline, no, sorry, 
Rimmel Scandalized Waterproof Kajal, Cold Kajal in black. Oh god. Oh god. I hate when one little bit gets like spiky. I'm going to take this Sigma Pencil E30 brush just to lightly blend that out. It just makes it look nice and soft and smoky. Then I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply a coat of Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara, which you guys know is my favourite one. So the lashes I'm going to use are in the Exo Beauty Party Stack. I'm going to use the Sinner. I've never used this pair. They're just that middle, really thick, luscious, but wispy looking pair. So I'm going to trim them to size and pop them on. <sighs> I just had one of those eyelashes that would, it just would not stick to my eyelid for some reason. No idea why, it just did not want to stick. To conceal, I'm going to use my Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer. I'm in the shade Light. And I love, love, love this for when my skin is dry. Oh my god. It's like the most hydrating concealer I've ever used in my life. Might not be the best choice for today while it's hot. But I just feel like using it. So I'm just using my Real Techniques Sculpting Brush to blend this into my skin. Now I find this concealer just gives you such a like luminous glow as well. I mean, because it's so moisturizing. Like, I don't know if you can see that, but just where I've applied it on the tops of my cheekbones, they're just glowing now. And who does not want to glow? So I'm going to dive into some of these Inglot powders that I bought. I'm yet to do the video, so I haven't set up my palette yet. So I'm just going to take it out of the plastic. So this is what the powder looks like. I'm going to use my Morphe G8 brush um, and just pick some of that up and set all my concealer. It's so pigmented. I'm literally just dabbing it in a couple of times and it's just so pigmented. So even though this powder is way, 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 way too light for my skin tone, obviously, I like using powders that are really light to set my concealer because it just keeps the highlight. Because if I was to set these areas with a normal face powder that was the same shade as my skin tone, um, there's no point in concealing to highlight them because you're not going to see it. So that is my little tip. Mm, that is so nice. So I'm gonna take this shit. Sh this shit. <laughs> I'm gonna take this shade here called 505. It is a cool toned contour shade, and I'm gonna use this on a Sigma small contour brush, the F05, which is one of my favorite brushes. Again, tap off the excess. Let's contour these cheekbones. Oh. So far, Inglot is a freaking winner in my books. Is that not like the most natural contour you've ever seen in your life? What the hell? Found my new obsession! Like, oh, it's warm enough to not look like a grey stripe, but it's cool enough to look so natural and like that's literally your cheekbones okay I'm obsessed I'm obsessed and this brush makes contouring like <laughs> so easy I am highly 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 impressed if you couldn't tell all right let's use some bronzer so I got the shade 507 um, all of these powders that I've used so far, guys, by the way, are the Freedom System HD Sculpting Powders. 
so they all go into their own palette they're all magnetized okay so I'm using 507 which is the bronzer shade I got on my nude by nature angled blush brush but I use this one for bronzer and contour because who plays by the rules not me These are so stunning. They literally blend out like a dream. Just going to use my Mangled Artiste brush to make sure that my edges are blended. I'm kind of sharpen out my contour a little. So I'm going to use one of the blushes and highlights as well, which looks like this. I love it, obviously. Um, I'm going to use my Real Techniques blush brush. Oh my god, they're so pigmented. Okay, and highlight I'm going to use is the number 153. This is the one that they ran out of and we were waiting for in the mail. Um, I'm going to use my Sigma F06 Powder Sweep Brush. Right, so moving back on to the eyes, I'm going to take this shade again. Uh, this one, sorry. The one I used in my transition in my crease for my transition on the same brush just going to buff this underneath the lid well underneath the lower lid and just taking I'm going to take a mixture of these two the um like camel color brown and the warm tone brown just gonna dip my brush into both of those and do the same thing I'm going to take this burgundy shade again, just on the 217 brush I used earlier, and buff this into the outer third of the lash line. Then I'm just going to take my pencil brush again and go in with the black. Um, I'm just going to pick up a small amount on the tip. And I'm going to put this really close to the lash line and just sort of buff it, buff it along just to smoke the look out and then bring some onto the top lash line as well to sort of join it up. Oh, that eyelash just popped off. Oh, see, I told you, it's this fucking eyelash to lose my shit with it. I think I just got glue in my eye. Oh man. I'm just going to pop some lower lash mascara on. So I'm going to finish up the look with my lips and I'm going to line them using the Colourpop lippy stick in, no, lippy pencil in Westie. I'm going to fill my lips in with the lippy sticks in the color Westy as well. I love this pink. Probably my favorite pink lipstick maybe ever. And I'm going to put some gloss on. I'm going to take the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Meringue, which is again, it's like a cool tone pink, so it will go well with this lipstick. Ah, oh, perfect. And that completes this makeup look. I actually really like how it turned out. I feel like it's really nice and summery. Like a summery night out kind of look it would look good for. I think all the new products that I've tried I really, really like. I love the foundation actually amazing coverage the color didn't oxidize so as you can see it's like now the perfect shade because my tans obviously been developing while I've been filming love the tan pigment love the Kathleen lights palette which that wasn't a first impression but 
Hey ho, I loved it anyway. The Inglot powders are just like hands down my new favorite thing. Expect to see those in a favorites video. They are amazing. But yeah, everything I think I really, really liked. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this chatty kind of video. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bare minerals, sorry. Have a high jolly Christmas. Literally on the very peak of summer. Whoa, that doesn't make sense. <sighs> oh. Uh. Ah, I'm itchy. So I'm. Okay, so the blush colour. Oh, baby.